Hello everybody, this is Jen from an Alaskan crafter. I hope you're doing well today, staying safe, and if you're in a cold climate, you're staying warm, and if you're in a warm climate, you're staying cool. We're having a little warm spell here. Uh, we've had quite a bit of our snow melt, and it makes things interesting in parking lots and so forth. It gets a little icy, so you, you, you kind of got to shuffle along so you don't fall on your rub. Anyway, I'd like to show you today some of my FOs and whips, whip. Uh, some of them, I guess you can still call them somewhere in between whips and foes, yeah, because they're cows. So the first to start off with is Nan's Next Knot, Luck of the Draw. Uh, she picks a number every week on Thursday and posts it. We kind of nudge her a little bit, you know. Okay, it's min it's midnight my time. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Anyhow, so the pattern I'm following is a tutorial from Happy Berry Crochet, and it is called Sun Star Granny and Moon Flower Granny. This one, the first week is the sun and it's done in lavender sky the second week is done in rodeo coral and this is the moon flower week three which will go back to the star because I'm alternating the color is mountain views and it's kind of on the gray charcoal side with uh, some purples and lighter grays in it. But again, I'll be alternating between the stars and the moon. So this week will be the moon. And the color I'll be using is Ocean Breeze. Which she chose number two. So this is my number two. And it's a pretty mint green that's kind of heathered. I like it a lot. The next thing is, is I made a new doggy sweater for our Shisu. Uh, she is, she gets a trim about every six to eight weeks. People ask us, you know, she's such a small dog. Why do we cut her hair in the winter? She's a low rider. Her belly will get cold, etc. But the thing is, is if we let her hair grow long, she develops these white puffs known as snowballs on her and they can be uncomfortable for her i'm sure and they're very uncomfortable to her humans when we're not paying attention and she climbs up her little stairs here and she gets up on our lap and it's Ooh! oh yeah cold and wet so, because of that, we get her cut every six to eight weeks. I've made her new sweaters. This sweater is made from Summer Merino from Hobby or Hobie, however you choose to pronounce it. Uh, and they don't come in colors. It's a purple. And I want to say it was 50-50, 50 Merino, 50 Cotton. I don't have the ball band anymore. Uh, I did leave the holes for her little paws a little too big so she can get her paw out. So she either falls on her face or, you know, shits you down. Take a pick. And the next finished object, Jada and Stitches is doing a Tunisian crochet along every first Friday of the month. She puts a tutorial out, and this was January's. I did a purple and a black border, and it's called a sim the Simple Stitch. Unfortunately, once again, I don't know what the second one is, but it's really pretty. Now you can make it, obviously, pretty holy or not block it quite so much and just have little holes. I haven't chosen a color yet, for the border. I'm having a very difficult time trying to figure that out. It's 
mostly blue with a little bit of a tiny bit of purple a little bit of white specks so if you can think of a color that would look good send it down to the comments and who knows i might choose one of your colors never know the next finished object is my call of the midwife I did get that done and it was a really fun pattern it did get a little frustrating because it is a new pattern for me and new patterns and watching TV generally you know they don't mix you got to get used to the pattern first so there was a lot of uh, pulling out and recrocheting and uh, the next thing I have, which maybe you'll kind of see a theme here. Maybe. I don't know. I think you're smart enough. You can figure it out. There's another baby blanket. This one I'm just fudging. Doing half double, double, single, back post, third loop. Just give it something. Did you figure it out? Huh? Huh? Did you figure it? Okay, I tell you. No, we're not having puppies. We have a new baby coming at the end of July. So I will be doing some baby crocheting. Just some, a little bit. You know, not, not much at all. Wow, Jeffalope will be probably doing some woodworking. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> We're very, very excited. Very excited. Jeffalope's birthday is the end of July. The baby is due in the end of July. So we're, we're, we're very excited. Happy birthday to our Mahani. I do have a question. And, it, you know, you, you don't have to study for it. You don't have to take notes. It's just a little simple question. What else do you guys like to do as a hobby? Do you like to sew? Do you like to knit? Do you like to collect flowers to dry them? Do you work with resin, do you, clay, wood, metal? What? Tell me, tell me. I, I want to know. Secret? No, it's not a secret. I have many different hobbies. And one of them is collecting rocks. Been doing it a long, long time. I think I've... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway. Jeffalope got me a rock tumbler for Christmas. And it holds about 15 pounds of rock. And with the tumbler, it came with uh, a big baggie of rocks. So to test out the tumbler, I, we did the rocks. And you have four, I call them sessions, that you have to do. You have your heavy, heavy duty grit, you have your medium grit, your mild grit, and then your polish. Those are not technical terms because obviously I'm blonde, I don't get technical. Anyway, here are some of my favorite rocks so far. This one, now they're not shiny yet because they've only gone through two sessions and they'll go through four and each session has to be done for a week. So it takes a month to do 15 pounds. This one reminds me of a sand dune. It's really pretty. The other side is, it's got some quartz, what looks like maybe quartz in it. Uh, my rock specialist is over here. Uh, his, his first career was with rocks. And here's rose quartz. And it's got some pretty, where it's been chipped, but it's really pretty. 
I'm gonna save that one for last. When this one's all done and polished, it'll look beautiful. Uh, it's a, a cat's eye stone. And if you've ever worked with beads or anything, you know exactly how that'll look. And this one here reminds me of amber. And it kind of looks like the stone that they had in Jurassic Park with the Skeeter in it, where they got the DNA for the dinosaurs. That's what that reminds me of. Yeah, let's see, we got a real pretty purple one with some white veins. And let's see, a red one with, I don't know, it almost looks navy bluish veins. I remember when these are all done, they're gonna really shine. Now yeah, I'll show you this one, uh, second to last green with again what almost looks like navy blue veins running through it and this one just blows me away it is so unique uh i watch another person that does rocks uh agate daddy or agate dad or something like that if i remember correctly he called this like the cosmic Remember? No. Like a cosmic rock or space rock or whatever. But it has... Oh, come on. Please focus. It has all these, like... It had bubbles and they popped. It's not focusing real great. But it's just the texture of it. You know, some of it looks like snakeskin... I hope it didn't scare anybody away. It's just, I don't know. There's just something about it I really, really like. Anyway, so in the comments, tell me what other things that you like to do. You know, if you have something specific in the winter, spring, fall, summer, let me know. You never know. You might teach somebody to do something new or spark an interest and we all need a little, a little <coughs> something to release that something. So, anyway, please stay tuned for my next video. I do have another big surprise. It's, well, I have a surprise. It's not big. It's not huge. But stay tuned. Anyway, I hope this is, I hope everybody is being safe and taking time for yourself as much as you can. I know there's a lot of people that are just as busy as busy can be and the thought of treating themselves to something is merely impossible, but try. Anyhow, everybody have a great weekend. I know it's only Thursday, I know, but the weekend is literally right around the corner. So have a great one, y'all. Love you to bits. Bye!